Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. It's so quick and easy to calibrate a torque wrench. You can do it from home. You don't need any specialist equipment, and it really is just a five minute job. We need four things, an Allen key, some rope, of course our torque wrench, and weight. If you have a vise, fantastic. It makes life a little bit easier. If you don't, find a bolt that's horizontally hanging that you can hang your torque wrench off, and you don't need to worry about the vise in that instance. So we need to know a very simple equation. Please don't get hung up on it. It really is simple. Don't look into it any further than you need to. If we're working with a metric torque wrench, which will be in Newton meters, we need to use the equation weight in kilos times by 9.81 times by the length in meters. That will give us Newton meters. If our torque wrench has foot pounds, which is the imperial measurement, we need to know the weight in pounds divided by 12 times by the length in inches, and that will give us our foot pounds. As I said, don't get hung up. I hate maths, I hate equations, and yet I can still do this, and you can too at home as well. Now, regarding the weight, if you've got little plastic weights like this, these are one kilo, 2.2 pounds each, then you can use those, it's absolutely fine. If you haven't, don't worry. You can either use a bottle of water, you can use a bag of rice, bag of sugar, anything with mass to it is absolutely fine, as long as you know what the weight is. The first thing we wanna do is to put our torque wrench into a vise, so it's 90 degrees, and if you haven't got a vise, it's absolutely fine. Just find a horizontal bolt that you can hang your torque wrench off with the right side socket. And then you can use that in the same way. Then we need to hang a weight off this to make it click. Well, I'm going to be doing the metric torque wrench first. This is my Newton meter torque wrench. And I've decided on seven and a half kilos. Here it is. I'm hanging it up and I've actually measured this on a scale and it turns out to be 6.559 kilos. So we're going to go with that. We're going to enter that into our equation. We're then going to times that by 9.81. And then we need to decide where we're going to hang this rope to find out where it's going to click. It's really simple. I recommend finding halfway down uh, the actual handle bit that you hold. So let's just say this middle bit between the yellow label and this first clean bit without any knurling. And we want to measure from the middle of the square drive down to that point. So in this case, we're 20 centimetres. And then we just convert that to metres. That's 0 0.2 metres. So just because it's easier to see, I've taken it back out of the vise. I'll loosen the lock nut off. I'll set it to 12.88. Once I'm there, I'll pop it into the vise again. And we'll hang. So that's 12.88. I'll hang that back in the vise now, ready to test. So technically, when I hang this weight, at that point, it should only just about click. If it clicks too early, then we'll make an adjustment one way, and if it clicks too late, we'll make an adjustment the other. Here, we're gonna apply the weight now. It clicked a little bit too early. I still had held of this weight. And we just need to note that if the torque wrench clicks early, then we need to turn this little screw anti-clockwise. And if we don't hear a click, we need to turn it clockwise. In this case, it clicked before we applied all the weight. That means it's clicking too early and that we need to turn this anti-clockwise. And I'm gonna go in about a quarter of a turn, like so. I'm gonna take the weight, I'm gonna hang it again, and we're just gonna see when it clicks again. Same position, right in the middle there. Let go of it gently, gently, gently. I'm still holding a bit of the weight. It was almost perfect. I'm going to do it one more time just to double check. Now what we can do is we want to see just how accurate that is. So I'm going to go a little bit above and just see if it still clicks. So if we're going a little bit above, does it still click? No. Come back slightly more. Back to where we were. And it just clicks. You see, when I just let that weight down, it clicked. What I recommend is you actually do this in a couple of different positions. So at the moment, we're about halfway throughout the range of this torque wrench. So you might want to then try a little bit lower or a little bit higher. And then you know that you're well rounded with a good, accurate measurement. And then we're just going to take this little rubber bung, and pop it back on top. Now let's get out the Imperial torque wrench in case you have an Imperial torque wrench to calibrate. So I have my imperial torque wrench in foot pounds into the vise, and I'm going to use a weight of 40.73 pounds. It's just what I've got. It's a nice weight. It gets me roughly in the middle of this gauge here, which is between five to 80 foot pounds. So we take that weight, we divide it by 12, 
And then we need to decide on, again, the lever length, how long we're gonna go from the middle of the square drive to about the middle of the handle. In this case, let's have a quick look. We are 11 inches, so we're literally right between this yellow label and this little smooth piece without any knurling. So I'm gonna hang the rope here and it should clip. So again, that calculation this time was 37.34. We're gonna go up to our 30 there. And then we do 35 there, 67.4. About there. Tighten that down, put that back in the vise. We're gonna pop this off now and we can make any adjustments as necessary. Remember that if it clicks too early, or when we before we put the full weight down there, it clicks, then we need to turn this anti-clockwise. And if it doesn't click, we need to turn this clockwise. Starting to get a bit heavy now. <laughs> it's all good. So we want it to go on to that point, which is right here. And I'm gonna slowly let the weight go down and see. There's no click there. If it doesn't release, then we need to turn that little Allen screw clockwise. So I'm gonna turn it an eighth of a turn. Small, small increments, otherwise you can end up chasing your tail. Like that. And you can give it a couple of clicks, like that. That just makes me feel better. And we'll repeat the same process again. Hold your weight. So again, we're still not clicking. So if you go in one eighth turn clockwise one more time. Oh, there we go. And do a couple more times. There we go. That is bang on, exactly where we need to be. That is now a calibrated torque wrench. Just like I said on the other one, do it in a few different positions. Change the weight up, go a bit lighter, a bit heavier, and just check that you're very close. Now they all have a tolerance. None of these are gonna be perfect. This one came from the manufacturer with plus or minus 4%. So in this position, we're perfect. We might be, if we go up to a little bit higher of a torque breathing, it might be less accurate, and the same on the other way. So get an average and get yourself very close, and I think you'll be very pleased with the result. So there we go, really it's that simple. A basic equation, hanging a certain amount of weight at a certain point and then seeing where that torque wrench clicks. Adjust that little Allen key. If you find that you haven't got that Allen key there, then your adjustment's very lightly back in the handle and you can adjust it either way on those same principles. And if you have got the Allen key and you find that you've twisted it about a turn and it's still not giving you the value that you're hoping for, then return it to zero and then take that nut off at the back and then turn those threads in or out and you will get your reading that you want. So there we go, hope it helps. A simple little video, easy to do, and you can do it from home without any specialist equipment. Catch you in the next one.